What is up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, y'all. It has been a hot minute since I filmed a video. All the videos that you guys have been seeing recently have been pre-filmed before I went to Japan. And within today's video, I'm going to be talking about some skincare products that I did purchase from Japan. This is going to be a little bit of a short video because I only did like technically pick up like four products. But I did want to talk about them because I did ask you guys in a previous video what skincare you guys would want me to purchase from Japan or like what would be good for me y'all and I was not able to edit that video before I left and I barely edited it when I came back so I'm like damn you guys are giving me some good suggestions a couple of you guys even DM'd me some things and I'm like Ugh, I want to try them but I'm already gone from Japan I am back home but I did pick up some products that I did want to talk about within today's video also too I do want to say that like most of these pro well actually all of them are pretty much in Japanese but I do want to let you guys know this before getting into it I don't know if these products are like specifically made in Japan I know that's at the bottom of them say made in Japan but then like one of the creams in here I think it's like made in Korea so I just want to let you guys know this is just things that I picked up from Japan not necessarily like Japanese do you know what I mean also if you guys are interested in our little story time of um Japan I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to my podcast I want to let you guys know just keeping it real all of the podcasts so far have been so fun, so entertaining. This one is a little bit boring, just keeping it really real with you guys. Only because, y'all, it was, like, really difficult for us to reset our clocks. Like, with that 17-hour time difference, y'all, we left at nighttime over there. Our flight took out uh, at, like, 6.15 p.m., and then we landed back over here at 10 a.m. So, it was very difficult to stay awake the whole entire day and, like, reset our clocks. So, both of us fell asleep that day when we re-landed, which was, like, Wednesday. I want to say it was the 28th. We landed, and then, like, y'all, we knocked out by like 3 p.m. So our clocks have been off. So y'all in that podcast, we're just sitting there like, J Jelly's literally falling asleep. She's like dozing off in the middle of the podcast. I'm like, oh damn, we got to reset our clock. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. So if you guys are interested though, um, we did do a little bit of a story time within that podcast. Uh, I do think that we will have some updates about that because I'm like, y'all, I can already think of a couple things that I did forget to mention within that video. Also, I'm going to be making like TikToks too for um, travel on my travel channel. And then I will have a couple YouTube videos um, going up on my travel channel that'll be linked down below too. So if you guys are interested in some Japanese skincare that I think you guys should get if you guys go there or there is some places I will actually I googled it I will show you guys within today's video um where they sell it here in America but the price is like really different like honestly I would say double to triple on the price I do have to say too before getting in this video I got so lucky at the time that I went to Japan because when I went in 2020, this is before the pandemic, before y'all start talking, you know, um, this is actually, y'all, this is the like first week of February when I went. And then when we went over there, literally that's when COVID was like blowing up. We were like, oh, y'all, we had like plans to travel around um, all of Tokyo. And we were like, okay, let's just stay in Tokyo only. Just say central, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, while we were there, basically a hundred yen was worth like, I would say like 95 cents. So it was pretty much dollar for dollar. Let's just say this time around y'all 100 yen I want to say was equivalent to 66 cents so it was a good time to go because I think the yen is really down right now which kind of benefits us um as Americans especially I feel like even if you guys are from like the UK like I feel like it would be really really cheap for you guys to go right now it was a good time to go I would say for us and y'all these skincare products I got for really really cheap and I'm like low key hoping that I don't fall in love with them because my thing is, I'm like, damn, like, and I know this is so cheap of me, but y'all know I'm just like really broke, especially right now. I'm like really, really broke. I just hate, like, say for example, like a cream that I bought, it costs like $4. I hate to go and pay like $15 for it, which $15 is not that bad, but just knowing that I got it for $4. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, Ugh. anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And let's get into it. So the first products that I want to talk about right here, I bought a three of them, y'all. These are the Tigerade Sickle Water Mist. And this is a moisturizing and soothing mist with Centella Asiatica extract helps to keep um, hydrated and healthy. I think it means skin, but you know what I mean. Skin protect, moist balance, and it says mild acidity for the pH, y'all. Of course, the back instructions are all in Japanese. These right here I got for $6. The reason why I bought three of them is because I absolutely fell in love with the Dr. Jart um, Centella Asiatic Spray. My skin loves this stuff. I did a TikTok of this before. If you guys have any type of skin irritation, I would highly recommend this. Y'all, I got sunburned. I think I want to say I did this TikTok maybe like two years ago, three years ago, and I sprayed some of the um, Dr. Jart on my legs. I was dying. Like, y'all, it was on my knees, my sunburn, so I couldn't, like, bend my knees, which is very hard to do. And, y'all, I sprayed that on my knees before I went to bed. I woke up in the morning, and I was fine. I was like, oh, my gosh, the redness calmed down. Everything calmed down. And then on top of that, too, you guys know I have a lot of flare-ups on my skin, I guess. It's really weird because I've seen... um 
technically not dermatologists before, but like estheticians, you know, and people will be like, well, your skin's technically not rosacea, but I've always thought for the longest period of time it was ros rosacea. So I refrain from calling my skin rosacea on camera because I don't know. It's never been diagnosed, but I do have a lot of redness. You guys know a lot of people will tell me I have broken capillaries. I've seen people before to get IPLs done as well as facials from estheticians and things like that. And they'll be like, oh yeah, this is um, broken capillaries, you know? So I'm like, oh, okay, well, looks like rosacea to me because there's flare ups y'all when it's hot I turn even more red when I'm in the shower it gets like more red do you know what I mean so I thought all along it's rosacea but I guess I don't know this helps with that like big time also I want to say I already have a bottle open because I did open it while I was there in Japan y'all I shaved while I was there in Japan you guys know that I'm always complaining about my like skin bumps that I get really really bad no matter what I do I exfoliate I use alcohol I tried 10 skin before I've even tried this product before that one of the girls at Mac told me about it's literally called coochie like I think it's like exactly called coochie which is like razor bumps for your like coochie area you know and I've used that before and it didn't work for me either y'all I think I found the product right here I don't know why I did not use the Dr. Jart before on my like irritated skin for razor bumps well, while I was there in Japan, as you guys can see, the back of this is like literally all in Japanese. So I did the like little Google Translate thing on it. And it literally says on there for prevention of razor burn. And I was like, oh my gosh. So when I shaved over there, I always specifically break out right here. You guys can probably still see some of the darkness because I do get hyperpigmentation. Y'all, I shaved over there, sprayed this on there before I went to bed, woke up, sprayed it on in the morning too, and I have not broken out. And I did shave again um, being back, and I still haven't broken out. So I think that I found my like cure little product right here. We do sell this product here in America, y'all, but I want to say when I Googled it, it was $16. And y'all, I got it over there. I want to say it was like $6.10. Like it was like such a phenomenal deal. I was like, I need three of those. And this is a big bottle right here. This is five ounces. So it is the same size as the Dr. Jart. I want to say that I got so excited buying the Dr. Jart, one of this product. Um, and I got it at Marshall's and it was like $16.99. Okay. And I was like, damn, y'all. I mean, look, I feel like $16.99, anything under 20 bucks is really not that bad. Because like if you look at other setting sprays and stuff like, I mean, this is not a setting spray. Obviously, it's skincare. But sprays, I should say, they're pricey these days. I feel like even that bottle of like Evian water mist is expensive. And it's like it's literally just water. So to get this for like six bucks, I just was super excited. And I was like, y'all, I gotta get three of them, which when I run out, I will be sad because I just know that like, I already love this product, y'all. It like really helps out my redness. And over there, typically I don't wear like a hat every day that I travel because my head does get like broken out or my forehead does get um broken out and irritated from wearing a hat so much. And you know what's so crazy? Like if you guys look back on my channel, if you guys look on my Instagram, TikTok, whatever, like I used to be so comfortable just showing my bald head. And I think that the older that I got, I got more uncomfortable showing my bald head, which is so stupid. And I'm gonna be so straight up with you guys. I think the reason for for that being is because like I notice like if I'm gonna go out if I get hit on by anybody which is very rare but when I do it's when I'm wearing a hat even before when I had um dating profiles like people would like specifically write to me when I would have a hat on and whenever I would have a hat off I'm like damn I'm becoming a hat fish over here because all I want to do is post pictures like you know having a hat on because only time I get hit on is when I have a hat on so it just made me a little bit more insecure do you know what I mean but by the way y'all I'm not really hat fishing people like before me and Jelly talked about it on the podcast when I did have my dating profiles I would have like three pictures with a hat on three pictures without a hat because I'm like y'all let's just keep it real over here I am bald I look like a potato but um yeah my forehead was like breaking out over there and this cured it like literally overnight so if you guys have any type of skin irritation basically anything with centella asiatic uh, helped me i know to some people they don't like it they don't find a difference with it but obviously to each their own every product is going to work differently on you um the next thing once again is sticking with the um centella asiatica is these masks right here this actually only cost four dollars for seven masks and actually i had to pull this up because there's like pretty much no english on this the whole back of it is literally all in japanese as to where at least with this spray right here it did have the little description of the product this doesn't but i was just like y'all it says that it has a retinol in it it says that it's moisturizing and it does have centella asiatica and i was like seven masks for i want to say this was under four dollars like i want to say it was like three dollars and 85 cents for seven i was like i gotta try this out so i did google this um they do sell it here in america too also i do want to say i think that they sell these in a bigger bundle on um, amazon because while i was googling it this um looks like it's the same exact thing they have a pack of 30 of them on amazon for 23 dollars um so i still think that that's like a great deal like 
I feel like you're still, y'all, I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. I'm like, are masks just these cheap? Because last time I bought some masks, I bought the Dr. Jart ones. And I was like, those shits were like $10 each. So to me, this is really cheap. But this is what it says on this website right here, which is J-O-L-S-E, Jolsey.com. Um, it says a lightweight daily um, Sika retinol mask with skin soothing effects helps with pore care using Sika Hyalon, which contains Centella Asiatica extract and three types of hyaluronic acid that are effective in skin moisturization. Contains, I don't know how to pronounce this to save my life, but I'm going to try. Hox, uh, hydroxy Penicolone retinate, retinate um, a 99% pure retinol effective in, in pore care and skin tightening contains, don't know how to pronounce this either, um, Bacchiolo, Bacchiol, y'all, y'all, every single time, whenever I do any type of skincare stuff, y'all know that I can't read the names, it's just way too much for me, which is effective in pore care and boosting collagen production, so I was like, I have to try these out, especially for the price point, I just felt like this was like, a really good deal but apparently you can get it for really cheap here too on amazon or this website too because this website does have them listed for 20 oh actually 20 dollars 20 dollars for 30 masks so i think that's pretty great i don't know if it's the same quality the same size i actually haven't tried this out haven't even opened it up yet so i will update you guys in the future these next two products right here i did see from tiktok because ironically enough before i went to japan i saw both of these products right here i will put a picture of the boxes on here because i do think that if you guys do go to japan or if you guys are searching for this online it will be a little bit complicated to find it just by the tube you will recognize it by the actual box because when i was looking for it in the store i had to like look by box because everything is really confusing obviously being that it is in japanese and being that they have symbols rather than letters do you know what i mean so i'm like oh shit i can't find out which is which um let's go ahead and talk about this vitamin c serum first i did see people talking about this on tiktok and i was like y'all i have to try this out especially because look here in america you can order this for ten dollars this cost, I it was under $5. It was under $5. I've tried this out a couple times now. Obviously, it's too soon to tell like how my skin likes it, but my skin definitely does like some vitamin C. So let me go ahead and read what it says right here um, on this other website where I did find it for $10. This is yesstyle.com. It says, take your skin's radiance level up a few notches by applying a, a ro... Y'all, this is the name of the brand, I guess. Rohoto Methantolum Milano CC Vitamin C Moisturizing Essence. It blends vitamin C with other ingredients such as celestine, Salicylic acid and glycerin that work together to reduce redness and inflammation while increasing skin's moisture level, leaving it feeling smooth and refreshed. Apply daily in the morning and evening for optimal results. I have tried this two times now, or maybe three times now. I will say I don't know which is calming down the redness more. I don't know if it's the spray or if it's this, but my skin has been calmed down, y'all. So so far, I'm liking this. I obviously will have to update you guys in the future to see how it does work um, in the future. But as of right now, I do like it. Also, I do want to say too, it is a little bit of a tricky product because being that it is in a tube, you have to be very gentle with this because it is a very, very liquidy formula. I used to use one from uh, Paula's Choice, which comes in a beaker droplet, which is a little bit more easy to use. This, I found any slight little pressure you push and it will squirt out because it is very, very liquidy. Um, but so far, I seem to be liking that. Do take everything with a grain of salt though, because I did see quite a few people commenting underneath a viral post of this saying that this broke them out. So obviously everyone skin is different and you know sometimes things are going to break you out that may not break me out and vice versa that's just how it is now if there's like y'all well, i was gonna say if there's one product y'all have to get from this list but then i'm like i love this spray so much personally but i guess if you guys are looking for affordable eye cream this was four dollars four dollars right here the brand is called sana s-a-n-a -A. so sana or sana i don't know i saw this also um viral on a viral tiktok too of japanese skincare but um i was a little bit confused though because i'm like um i saw somebody say that it was made in korea but it says on the back of the bottle made in japan so i don't know i just saw somebody comment that and i was like i'm so confused because it says made in japan so why are you saying it's you know made in korea don't know this is what it says though on yes style once again this retails for 12 dollars 80 I think that's the cheapest price that I found it for. I did actually see upwards of $25 of this eye cream. I do think because a lot of people were talking about it on TikTok, but y'all, I have used this every single night since I've got it. I want to say 10 nights now. I regret not buying two bottles. I honestly was like, okay, let me not overspend because I don't know how I'm going to like it. And why am I going to throw money away if I don't like it? I've used this, like I said, actually, it's been, oh no, it's been exactly two weeks now. Literally, like, since I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, y'all. It is absolutely amazing. I love this. It really moisturizes your under eyes, but then it does depuff them because it does have caffeine in there. This is what it says right here, too. It says, infused with fermented soy milk, pure a retinol... 
y'all, I don't know if that's not a retinol. I don't know. A retinol. I don't know. And vitamin E derivatives that uh, uh, this highly moisturizing eye cream softens and hydrates the eye area to give a rejuvenated wrinkle free finish to use gently apply blah, 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 whatever. Oh, I had saw somewhere or maybe it was on that TikTok that this had caffeine in it. I guess it doesn't have caffeine in it according to the yesstyle.com website. Whatever is in this, I don't know. I love this. It feels so good. It feels like a luxury, like high-end eye cream. This product right here, especially being that I got it for $4, I regret not buying more like I probably should have bought three more if I'm being quite honest with you guys but I just was like you know what like what if I don't end up liking it and I tried it out like the first you know three or four days while I was there in Japan when I had got it and I was like oh yeah I like it but then I don't know if you guys are like me like I have to like wait a little bit to see if I like it do you know what I mean and by time I was like no I really like it it was the last day and I couldn't find it because I did look at two more drugstores and I only found this at their like popular um, makeup store over there makeup slash skincare store which was called cosme i believe it's like c-o-s-m-e and y'all everyone was snatching this up especially for the price point i was like jesus christ four dollars for this and it feels amazing my under eyes love it and this is definitely one of my favorite products i'm just really regretting not buying it you know any like buying more of them but i at least can get it here in america for a little bit more at least from this website right here if it is legit it says for twelve dollars and eighty cents which is not too bad anyways y'all that is it for this i know i only got a limit limited amount of products i definitely would have taken your guys's recommendations if i would have uploaded my video sooner and had asked you guys what to purchase because you guys did have some good recommendations but um i definitely plan on going back to japan i don't know when obviously because you know that's a little bit pricey but um hopefully i do go back in the future and hopefully there's some more skincare because these products so far i'm liking the only thing that i have not tried is this so i will update you guys on this and then i'll also update you on the vitamin c i do feel like vitamin c's do take a little bit of time to like see results with so i'll update you guys on those but for the future even though i don't have any plans to go back to japan anytime soon uh, let me know what you guys would like me to purchase or what should i try from there especially for like red skin y'all like i just ugh, i hate my redness so anyways hope you guys like this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up i'd appreciate that i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out girl scout